What is going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another Bama Saltwater Fishing episode. It is another beautiful, 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 have I said that enough, <laughs> day out on the beach. Now I got mom with me today and we are after pompano. We're trying to catch some decent sized pompano and hopefully we can get on a big one. Found a nice little cut here and uh, we got plenty of fish gum. So I got secret weapon and pump candy fish gum. This frozen shrimp that we got today and pompano rigs. So we're gonna get baited up, cast out and see what we can do as the United States Coast Guard flies by. Cool. I'm gonna take some of this secret weapon here, fish gum. Cut me a piece off. And the mom's over there with some shrimp and fish gum as well. Let's see if we can get something. All right, this worked pretty good for me last time, so I'm just going to bait up with just fish gum again. And that was it. And uh, I am running a two hook rig on here. I'm going to cast this one out and let it soak. All right, this one, this one's got one on it. Just went slack. Is it still pulling? It ain't big, whatever it is. It's something tiny and it came off, I believe. Yeah, it's either something really small or it just came off. The line went slack, that means something hit it. I think it's probably a small fish. Oh, <laughs> it is. It, it's a little bitty stingray. Look at him. Look at him. It's a little bitty stingray. And he still gets you though. What's up, bud? All right. I'm going to get him back in the water. He's so small. His barb's so little, but it can still get you. There's his gills and his mouth and his nostrils. Everybody thinks those are stingray eyes because it looks like a smiley face or frowny face, but it's really not. It's actually there nostrils their gills and their mouth their eyes are on this side along with some more nostrils as well pretty cool little southern stingray we're going to get him back in the water virtually unharmed there you go bud go back <laughs> he's gone all right i just faded up again make another cast oh it's a big wave This is a nine foot rain shadow 1087. The custom rod actually made by a buddy of mine, Mr. Obi Hill, the Fast Cast custom rod. So I've had this one forever. It is called Tarpon, King Mackerel, Jack Craval, Big Redfish, Spanish Mackerel, Pompano, Black Drum, pretty much anything that you can catch off the shore or near the shore in Alabama, it has caught. So it's an awesome rod. I've had it forever. And then I'm just running this Shimano Saragosa Saltwater. 6,000 and a 20 pound Power Pro Super Slick 8 grade. That wind is kind of strong and the current's kind of cross current, right? East to west current. So three ounce weight's holding it just fine. Pompano. There we go. Got one. That's, that's gotta be one. Yep, that's gotta be a Pompano. Get this hook driven in it. Let's the way it freaking popped the we're off like that. Yeah, it's gotta be. Come on. It's not a big one if it is though. Oh, you know, I'm talking too early because now it's freaking pulling pretty hard. It wants to pull drag. Yeah, it wants to pull drag. It doesn't want to come on the beach. Come on. That's a pompano though. Come on. Come on. Is it? Yeah. Get up on the beach, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Woohoo! Got one. Told you. All right, just got this solid pompano here. Came out to 15 inches. We're gonna put him in the cooler. First one of the afternoon. So came out here another day and uh, 
it will do pretty good. So I'm gonna put them in the cooler. So I just caught that pompano on a real small piece of fish gum and a real small piece of shrimp, frozen shrimp. And uh, I did a pretty far cast to get out there. So in this deeper, darker water right about there. And I'm just gonna rinse, repeat, and redo. All right, I just baited up again with some more frozen shrimp and fish gum. that again you want to get it <laughs> there we go decent little fish yeah that's probably a pompano uh, yeah that's what it's fighting like not a giant one but it's something and this one was literally just on a fish gum by itself just on a pompano rig yeah that's what it is come on fine hard at the bank Woo! yeah that's a pompano look at it in the way that's cool stay on stay on <laughs> all right come on come on up there we go sweet two out of three and look at that fish going right in its mouth awesome on a salty rig cool on the salty rig pompano rig with fish gum literally just fish gum so i'm gonna put him on freaking ice literally just fish gum all right i'm gonna cut some more of this fish gum up and this is literally no joke I'm just using it by itself, like no shrimp or nothing on this one. Have you got one yet? <laughs> that is have you got a? <laughs> that is rubbing it in for sure. Have you got a whiting yet? All or... right. <laughs> All right. I'm just joking I with you. That. I'm just joking. I have got. I have caught one fish. <laughs> Not even one fish. I'm just kidding. Uh, now these Shimano Saragos, I love these reels. They do have a pretty hefty price tag, but if you do a lot of serious fishing like I do, they're well worth the money. They're very corrosion resistant. The handle gets stickier the wetter it gets, which a lot of reels don't do that. I love the handles on them. Just that material, I don't know what it is, but the material is pretty cool on all those uh, high-end Shimano reels. And their drag's incredibly smooth and strong, and it's super lightweight, and that's what I enjoy, the lightweight setup. Now there's plenty of combos that you don't have to spend a whole lot of money on to do type of fishing out here. Pin makes some great combos and Shimano also makes some great value combos as well. But like I said, I do a lot of fishing around here and I like something that lasts me a long time. So I like to buy really high quality gear. Oh, have you caught any? Yeah, I gotta get it in when I can. All right. That's fine. You wanna you wanna touch the ones in the cooler to see what it feels like to hold one? Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I wanna end up uh if I don't make another video, you know what happened. <laughs> So I did manage to Pompano. We didn't fulfill our limit, but we're also leaving the beach early. The sun's still out, it's just behind the clouds and it's not dark yet, but we're calling it early. We're gonna go head home and get something for dinner. But I appreciate you watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, please go hit it down below. We would greatly appreciate it. And it allows you to keep up with entertaining and informational content. And it's not just beach fishing. We do a bunch of different types of fishing. Go check it out if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below. I appreciate all y'all. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. And we'll see you later. Bye.